Kicking it with Momo, yes, I'm with another video, mm, with another mm, video, mm, mm. nah, but for real, thank you for tuning back into my channel, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, if you're new, if you're not new, then you know what to, you know what to do, oh, I'm a <laughs> nah, I'm just playing, but for real, thank you for tuning back in, so this today, y'all see the title of the video, this is just a reaction video to the little girls dancing the sexy way, y'all probably done seen it surface all over social media, because baby, it was on everything, it was on Instagram. It was on Facebook. Stop, Stink. It was on literally everything. Come here, mama. She just so worth some food. She just sits right in front of me while I do my video. Just staring. Like, she a stalker. Say, hey, mommy. She get a haircut, y'all. Real bad. But her is so cute. I love her. But anyways, this is a reaction video to the little girls um, dancing the sexy red. I'm going to drop the video, the little clip of the video in this video. <laughs> First off, where clearly somebody grown was definitely recording this video. I'm not, I just, it's the parenting for me. What I have noticed these days is that everybody, like you got kids having kids. So this is just one of those scenarios. This is kids having kids and thinking that that's cute. Like, I don't know. As a parent, you are supposed to wear two different hats. Like, of course, like I'm a little ratchet absolutely a little ratchet sometimes like i would admit that um i do get a little ratchet i listen to ratchet music sometimes but with my son heck no nah. and my son is 15 like let me be listening to megan the stallion talking about c-o-o-c-h-i-e baby he gonna be like mom like he gonna get mad so yeah it's certain stuff that i don't do in front of my son and i don't care how old he is um yeah, this is just a prime example of moms, young moms having kids and letting them do what they want to do. But what kills me about y'all is that y'all is really mad at Sexy Red. Like, baby, why are y'all mad at her? She is making music. She didn't make music for them. Like, y'all the ones that's got them listening to that. So, yeah, we everybody want to blame Sexy Red and it's the little Sexy Reds for me. Like, what? Like, we had, back in the day, we had Little Kim. My mama might have listened to Little Kim. But I ain't never heard my mama listen to Little Kim. Like, I wasn't sitting in the same room and she talking about sucking pain. Like, no. It doesn't work like that. The fact is, is that as an artist, you're not making this for kids. She's not making this for no seven-year-olds, eight-year-olds. These kids didn't even look like they were seven or eight. They had to be like six, maybe. But what kills me is the little girl that's dancing. I'm playing again. Just watch. <laughs> Do y'all see her? <laughs> Baby, she was dancing. She was throwing her hands up. She even pointed at her homegirl in the front. Ooh, if she ain't been watching her mama or real life watching Sexy Red, Baby, something ain't right. <laughs> and then the little girl with the pink dress was like doing this like she was trying to let it breathe. Like, hey, let that breathe. Like, babe, I ain't gonna lie, I like that song. I like anything with Drake, but definitely do like that song. And I definitely play that song, but not with my son. Like, my son don't want to hear nothing about letting my stuff breathe. Like, he don't want to hear that. He don't want to hear nothing like that. He don't look at me in that light. But when he was younger, I don't, and I'm not saying that it's a difference between boys and girls, but boys kind of, like, they go off and do their own thing. He paid, my son pay attention to me, but not so You know much. what I'm saying? Like, when I had a stepdaughter, she paid attention to every single thing that I did. From the way I put on my makeup, to how I put on my shirt, to who I was on the phone. It used, it used to be times where I would be like, some I would be calling somebody or somebody would call my phone and she would just hear their voice like, oh, you talking to so-and-so. Like, what? Like, my son ain't never did that. <laughs> so, little girls definitely pay attention to every single thing that their mom do. So, if you got your daughter around and you and your homegirl getting ratchet in the room, y'all popping butt. She's popping butt too. She's getting around her little friends and she's popping butt too. Like, it's just, it is what it is. But to be mad at the artist for making the music? Like, nah, we ain't doing that. 
we not getting mad at her because I still want to hear Sexy Red. I ain't going to tell you about y'all, but yes, I want to hear Sexy Red. Yes, I do like Meg the Stallion. Yes, I like Cardi B. But if I had a daughter, I definitely wouldn't be wearing, I'm wearing, I wouldn't be listening to that in front of them. It's just the fact of we need to have two different hats when parenting. Like, that's it. But when you got kids having kids, this is what you get. But when you are a parent, you do have to take off your ratchet hat and be their mama. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta do that for them. It's not necessarily for you. And in this world, everybody trying to live their best life. So they living their best life in front of their kids. They live, they letting their kids know what's up. Like, that's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm not even gonna lie. My daddy, when I was younger, I used to smoke. And my dad would never smoke with me. Like, it's just certain stuff that you don't expect your parent. You Like, I just... Baby, he wouldn't smoke with me. He would ask me if I had some, true enough, but he would make me put it down and then he would grab it. It was weird, but I understand as a mom. Certain stuff that you don't want to do with your kids. Like, I was in a mall with my son and he was booty watching. I felt some type of way about that. I was like, first of all, it was pineapples for me because I don't want to look at booty and I don't even think about my son looking at no booty. Like, what? No. It's just certain stuff that you just don't do in front of them. Certain stuff that you don't want to involve yourself in when it comes to them me as a parent i don't want my son to see me in certain lights so you know what i'm saying i'm not one of them parents that do everything in front of my son i'm not so there's like stuff that i will absolutely never let malachi see ever like when i say ever i mean ever <laughs> and really i'd be like it'd be so messed up because i get on tiktok and sometimes i pop a little bit on tiktok and my son will send me the videos bro i'd be like he would send me the videos and he would be like, mom, what are you doing? And I have to like, I have to remind myself sometimes like, dang, I do have a son and dang, he be on social media. It just be crazy. So like, I get it. It's just, you know, we can't be mad at them. You got to be mad at the parents. I felt like the comments that was kind of, that was directed towards Sexy Red was like, what? Like, I don't know Sexy Red be like, girl, I didn't make this for her. Suki with the good, uh-uh, she made music for y'all's kids. She made it for you and the ratchets that's like her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saying, y'all are mad at the wrong person. Be mad at the parents because nobody should have been putting... First, uh, and then what? This is how you know that it's some kids because they put it on social media. So, yeah, we probably all... I used to have videos of my son saying a cuss word. Like, I would... And this is just me. I'm being a blankly honest parent. I used to ask my son to say a cuss word and he would never say it. So I had recorded him saying a cuss word because to me, I was like, dang, you know, and I used to tell him like, you could say it and he wouldn't say it. So when he did say it, I did have that in my video, but I would never post that on social media. Like, I don't want the whole world to know that I was enticing my son to say a cuss word. Like, I don't, like this, what's wrong with y'all? It's, it's something wrong with the world, but we are getting to a times where everything that's wrong is right and was right ain't what's up like you ain't cool if you doing what's right so i'm not mad at you sexy red pop your stuff girl i'm mad at they mamas who posted that and who even allowed them to play that on karaoke and then low-key i thought i heard a little cussing i'm playing one more time <laughs> did y'all hear cussing Cause I, I feel like I heard some cussing. I don't know. So maybe the person that was doing the video cussed, but I felt like, you know what I'm saying? And I, in real talk, if they would have been in there, them little girls would have been saying all the words. You don't think they know all the words? Cause they do. They probably don't even know what an uh-uh is, but they do. And really at that age, they don't even have one of them. They got a tutu. Like, so let that tutu breathe. Like, no ma'am. don't have one of them. It ain't even fully developed to even call it that. So they dang sure shouldn't be listening to that. So... Y'all bad parents, not sexy red, but make sure you drop down in the comments and tell me what you think about this video. Tell me if you allow your kids to listen to music that they shouldn't be listening to. Um, tell me if you think that's cool. Tell me if you really think that it's sexy red part uh, fault or if it's the parents fault. Because I'm feeling like it's the parents. Like, y'all can't be mad at artists for making music. We listen to rappers kill people every day through, in a song. Talk about the dead homies. Shoot them up, baby. Like you can listen to that if that's the genre of music that you want to listen to but i just don't listen to that music in front of my son all the ratchet music that i like i can't say cardi b's words in front of my son he'll be like what like mom you know what I'm saying? like i wouldn't do that so yeah that's just what it is for me y'all make sure y'all drop down in the comments and tell me what you think about this video make sure you hit the thumbs up on this video and again make sure you put god first 
and peace.